NNH's journey towards the culture of research. In the year 2011, two science teachers, Mr. Leomel Ramos and Mr. Russell Samson, decided to use their own laptop computers in their classes as teaching tools. They decided to adopt the carton concept of Efren Pena, Florida by using a mobile cart, which they called the M-Cart, or Mobile Computer Aided Reinforcement for Teaching also known as MCURT 1.0. The innovation adopted by the science department became part of its handbook of best teaching practices for the school year 2010-2011. It caught the interest of the present NNH's principal, Dr. Maria Cristina A. Robles, who decided to adopt MCURT as a teaching tool that could be used by all the teachers. <music> In the year 2012, to optimize the use of MCARD, the modified in-school and out-school scheme or MISOS was implemented. This is an alternative delivery mode, or ADM, recommended by the Department of Education. In view of the two days that the students were not going to school, they were given integrative learning modules to be done at home and monitored and checked by the teachers. <laughs> In the year 2013, on May 28, 2013, MCOR 3.0 was formally launched, also known as NNHS Literacy Program, a whole school approach. This instructional innovation aimed to enhance the pedagogical use of MCOR by incorporating reading tools like graphic organizers and integrating literacy building teaching strategies in all MCART lessons across all learning areas. December 28, 2015, Navotas National High School launched the first NNH's Action Research Festival that promotes the culture of research and evidence-based educational reform development. On February 2, 2016, Dr. Maria Cristina Iropas and Mr. Marco Medorano conducted another school learning action cell with the agenda of action research study format. From March 16 to 18, 2016, Division Capacity Building on Action Research. The School Technical Working Group received a training in the Division Initiated Workshop on Action Research. From June 6 to 10, 2016, Navotas National High School conduct School Learning Action Cell with a the theme Plan, Act, Reflect. Action Research as a tool for continuous school. The school was able to get external partners who are experts on educational research. Ms. Katie Caragay, 
Research Director of Happy Education and Love, give a lecture workshop on qualitative data analysis and research methodology. July 28, 2016, School Learning Action Self Poster Presentation of Action Research Proposals. August 5 to 7, 2016, First Anonymous Action Research Festival. Action Research Towards Continuous Improvement and Evidence Based School Transformation. Proposal Presentation and Training on Data Collection Analysis. 130 teachers receive intensive training on developing an action research project proposal. 32 teacher quality circle groups were formed as teachers by area of specialization per year level. Work collaboratively to formulate research questions, develop interventions, and create work plans that pertain to their chosen research focus. On November 22, 2016, NNHS teachers received Basic Education Research Fund and grants for 14 Action Research Project Proposals and Development. October 14, 2016, Presentation of NNHS Isang Nanay Isang Gulay with Honorable Senator Bum Aquino IV at the Senate of the Philippines. <music> On June 9, 2014, the U.S. Embassy Manila launched the English Access Microscholarship, also known as Access Program, at Lavotas National High School. From April 13 to May 8, 2015, the NNHS 2015 Summer Reading Camp with a theme, I Can Read the Universe, or Project Icarus, offers a reading clinic where students have an opportunity to strengthen their reading abilities and their enjoyment of reading through guided instruction that is both functional and fun. In the year 2016, NNHS introduced Project Saad or supportive after-school adolescent literacy intervention, a two-hour block 20-day out-of-school time reading intervention program that seeks to remediate reading skills deficiencies, accelerate learning, and prepare students for the intellectual challenges of later schooling and <laughs> NNHS Continuous Improvement Team successfully presented project cards for harmonized engagement for active and revitalized teaching and supervision in the quest to find a solution and continuously improve the teaching learning situation in the school. The proponents have decided to look into the aspects of instructional supervision under the guidance of CI coach Dr. Gemma C. Villaluna.